everybody, this song is very, very catchy. This song is very, very catchy. Alright, anyways, hey everybody, welcome back to more Let's Play Dragon Ball Z Boost Fury. In the last episode, we uh, finished off the junior division of the World's Martial Arts Tournament. And for now, let's move on. Is everyone ready to begin? Yes! Because apparently I decide. Fat man. Ow, aha! Cruet did something useful! And so the tournament began. Things started off uneventful, with Krillin easily defeating Pinto. But when Piccolo stepped down to the ring with mysterious Mr. Shin, things began to get interesting. This is the first year Shin has participated in the tournament. He's a man of few words, so we know very little about him. And that he could spell trouble for our other component, Ma Jr. Someone, if I remember correctly, came close to turning this arena into rubble the last time he was here. This time, try to leave the stadium intact, okay? This should be interesting. Don't you think, Piccolo? How does he know my name? And what's the strange energy I'm feeling? Alright, fighters, let the second match begin! Why can't I focus my power? Sorry, I have a bit of a cold. Hey guys, uh, the match has started. You can throw punches now. Why am I holding back like this? I've never met anything. Man, I n I've never even met him before today. And yet there's something about it, him that reminds me. Well, our charge fans, it looks like what we have here is a good old fashioned standoff. <laughs> no, it could be. You're not. Why would he be here? I promise you'll know soon, but for now, let's just enjoy our little match. No, I'm sorry, I can't. Does this mean you're forfeiting the match? Maybe, maybe. Yes, it does. Okay, okay, bye, Pickle. We'll miss you. You are it, folks. But Junior wants to draw from the match. This makes Shin the winner by default. Ow. What's wrong, Pickle? Is he really that strong? Yes, stronger than you can imagine. Oh great, I'm going to have to fight this guy next. Excuse me. What is it? Forgive me if I mistake, but I have to ask you, are you the Grand Kai? No, sorry, I am not. I'll tell you who he is, the Supreme Kai. Supreme Kai? I've always suspected that there was an even greater Kai above the Grand Kai. But until now, I never knew for sure. What on earth, what are you doing on earth? Wouldn't it be cool if it said, what on earth are you doing here? Alright, never mind. No, I'll become clear. For now, please keep that information to yourself. Oh, it's the hot bit. I mean, it's Videl. Alright, I'm sure that most of you know Videl is the daughter of our champion, Hercule. As our arrival to. Did her eye just turn bluer? Did you guys see that? Okay, never mind. Not for the last tournament. Right. Let the match begin! Now, yay, we're a woman! Yay, this is gonna go so well. Oh my god. I'm a woman owning a man. Society, what have you come to? I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. What the? Videl is clearly beating it. Oh, I just skipped that. Okay, whatever. Alright, guys, here it comes. I don't know how to explain this, but spots just somehow survived. I've never seen anything like this. And oh my god, can we actually die in this part? Because if we can die here, we're screwed. Okay, I just have to keep attacking. I don't understand it. You were never this strong before. I'll never give it. Ha ha ha. And ow, 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 ow. No! Uh. No, Adele, stay down! There's no way you can beat this guy! No, I have to keep fighting! Uh. This is too much! I can't stand to watch! Getting ass kicked. Spubovich, stop playing games. End this now. Oh, alright. Well, how could this happen, poor girl? Sugar B, what did they do to you, my little girl? She's okay, sir, but she's going to need some time to heal. Go on, that guy, Spubovich. I want you to beat him for me. Sure, Vidal. Say, I have an idea. I'll be right back. 
What are you talking about, Dale? There's no way that kid can be spoke that ah, this kid can be spoke Don't worry. They don't take care of him for you. Wait a second, that kid isn't your boyfriend, is he? I won't allow it. Do you hear me? I do not prove this. You know I've always said that if you have a boyfriend then he must be strong like me. Not feel like that twerp. How could how could he protect my little girl? Dad, he's a really nice guy. Uh, one thing I don't understand, is Sam Spalvich ain't got so strong. When I fought him in the last world tournament, he was a cream puff. <laughs> Alright, well... Hey, Gohan, where are you going? I was going to, uh, to see Corn to get a sensor beat for Videl. Hey, yeah, watch here, I'll take care of it. Thanks, Dad. Oh, we are so nice. <laughs> so yeah, now we got that so a bit like uh, in this episode you're actually gonna see we're actually getting to the part of the game that's really interesting like where the story starts to develop all right so let me just so now we gotta go to Kami's lookout and get a set to be yay all right so let's use the fast forward ability so cheap but so good all right okay Kami is lookout. Oh look, it's Mr. Popo! Hello, Goku. Welcome to the lookout. Don't fucking tell me what to do. Bitch! Sorry. I'm sorry. Now let's go there. Ah, oh, I'm sorry. I have, I have a cold. So yeah. And what the fuck? Is that a cat man? Hey, Popo, what do you want? I want to be here. I'm gonna bring you some fish. Yeah, Jerome keeps the fridge stuffed with pizza and fried chicken, but I'm hungry for fish. Alright, I get it, because you're a cat. Hey, Goku, on my end, you want slings of bean? You know I have better things to do than grow slings of beans for you all day. Here, take one. There you go. Next time, I think I'll start charging. Oh my god, wait, can you be a limited? Dude, oh my god, I should stock up on this. What do you think? Since we go on cheers later, I'll have some more. So. He's not always gonna have a lot, he's just, from periods of time, he's gonna have some. And he's gonna be a bitch in church for them. Alright, so let's go back to Gohan. And, give his daughter a set to be! His daughter? Wow, did I just say give his daughter a set to be? No, give Videl a set to be. Jesus Christ. Alright, uh, hey guys! Alright. Because I really wanna be quiet. Okay, um. There's gonna be a scene in this episode where I'm gonna be quiet, so I won't be reading the text just to add the the drama of the situation. Actually, never, I don't know, I don't know. We'll see. Did you get the sense of me? Th thanks, Dad, I'll take it from you. What a bitch. Hey, Vidal, I have something for you. Hey, you life, Vidal, all oh, you need to rest. You got something there. Here, take the sense of me. It'll make you feel better. You think you'd press my daughter with some kind of pain? Trust me, sir, it'll make her feel as good as new. There's no way I trust you. Please, Daddy. I trust you, go on, and I know it'll help if you say it will. Listen, I have to run, and I'll be late for my tournament. Man. See you later. Yeah, you better run. You better stay away from my daughter, bitch. Damn, no, spit it out. I'm like, ha ha ha, did you see his face for a brief second? He looked at us and like, what? I'm all better now. It's like I was never even hurt. Here we go with the fourth match of this competition, Kibito. Aww. Is it just me or does Great Saiyaman look like Gohan? Well, the hairdo looks similar. Hey, I think you're right, that is Gohan. So he's been the Great Saiyaman all along? We should cheer for him, he needs our support. You can do it, Gohan! Come on, Gohan, show us what you can do, go, go, yeah! Oh, uh, my helmet, all the excitement, I forgot it. Go on, I'm curious to see your Super Saiyan powers. Show them to me. We may be able to use them. What? Hey, do you know? How do you know I'm Super Saiyan? What do you mean we may be able to use them? You'll know what time. Show me your Super Saiyan powers. Is this a kind of joke? I can't trust around all these people. What should I do? Do what he says, Go on. Alright, then you ask for it! Yes! Do you want to see a Super Saiyan? Should I take you up to the next level? What? 
there's a level beyond Super Saiyan? Ah! I'm gonna shut up for this next part. You guys have to read, okay? Okay, sorry, I got the wrong part. I'm gonna shut up after this. So now we are Super Saiyan, we gotta kill these guys. So let me just punch this guy's ass. Ew, did I just say I'm gonna punch his ass? That's gross, man. Oh, look at this face. He's like, oh, 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 man. Okay, uh, oh, oh, man. Ah, nah. Ah, 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 ah. Alright. We needed, to, we needed to use Popovich and Yama to find the wizard that is controlling them. A wizard? Yes, when the human race was still in its infancy on Earth, a powerful wizard named Bibidi appeared. With him, he brought a terrible monster whose only purpose was destruction. That monster's name was Majin Buu. This monster's only desire was to eliminate all living things. Hundreds of planets were to reduce to rubble by him. Entire galaxies were wiped from existence. That sounds awful, so what happened to him? After a while, Majin Buu became so powerful that even Bibidi could not control him. Bibidi used the spell to seal Majin Buu inside a ball where he lay dormant. Bibidi used the spell to transport Buu from planet to planet until the ball was brought from here to Earth. The Earth was meant to be Buu's next target. No, that's terrible! But before Buu could be released, Bibidi was killed. And the ball containing Boo has remained here on Earth to this very day. I don't get it. Why wouldn't someone? Why could someone destroy Boo while he was inside the ball? That's a good question. As long as Bibidi could never do the spell to release Boo from the ball, Boo is no longer a threat. However, Bibidi had a son. He named the son Bobidi. Bobidi is on Earth right now, as we speak. He intends to continue his father's works and unleash Majin Boo upon the universe once again. I see. So what does Bobovich and Yama have to do with all this? Bobby is not very physically strong, but as a wizard, he does not need to be. Instead of his magic, instead, his magic enables all. It's Bobovich and thereby, thereby control their actions in order to resurrect Majin Buu. Tremendous amount of... 
So they came after me. That's right, the Supreme Kai, the one you know as Mr. Shin, was the one who defeated Babidi so many years ago. Bibidi, I think. We have, we have come here to Earth to stop him. I see your father and the others have had. Let's catch up with them. Hey, Dad! Go on! I suppose Kibitu filled you in? Yep, yeah, it sounds like we have our work cut on for us. I see Spavovich and Yamu landing over there. Well, we don't know. We we don't want them to know we're here yet. Chapter four, Bobby. Spavovich and Yamu landed somewhere around here. This is very strange. We have searched this area. Before, I'm not that found nothing. Probably spaceship must be hidden somewhere around here. We should split up. That way we could yeah, yeah, okay. Fine Bobby Spaceship. Alrighty guys. Uh I know, I know what you're thinking. A lot of text, but we're really gonna get to the story like part now. So anyways, now that we have Goku, Gear Trucks, and Vegeta, whatever. I think what we're gonna do is uh, off camera. I'm gonna level up a few characters to uh, Goku to get through this gate. And yep, and we're gonna find Bobby's ship. All right. So next time on Let's Play Dragon Ball Z: Boo's Fury, we are going to enter that gate and find Bobby's ship and find out more about Majin Buu. Hopefully. All right. See you guys. Then...